everyone, welcome to One Six Scale. Hope you're having an awesome day. In this DIY video, we're gonna make these cute little shopping bags for the dolls in a one six scale. I made these shopping bags from cardstock. You can use colored, you can have plain with stickers on it, and this one is covered with fabric. These shopping bags are really cute and they're really quick to make up. So grab your cardstock and let's get started. To make the shopping bag, start with a piece of cardstock. This cardstock has a pattern on one side and it's plain on the other side. We're going to use this side of the cardstock to make the pattern. With a ruler, make a rectangle that is 10.5 centimeters wide and 14 centimeters long. Again, with your ruler, measure down half a centimeter from the top and make a line. And then also measure up half a centimeter from the bottom and make a line. Measure down six centimeters from the top of the rectangle and make a line across and then measure six centimeters up from the bottom of the rectangle and make a line across. And also with the ruler measure in two centimeters from the right side of the rectangle and make a line down and then measure in two centimeters from the left side of the rectangle and make a line down. With your scissors cut out the rectangle. At the top of the rectangle where we measure down half of a centimeter, take your ruler and fold over that line. With some glue, I'm going to use a glue stick, put some glue across that line that we just folded over, and fold over the half centimeter piece of cardstock. And repeat that fold on the bottom of the rectangle. At the top of the bag where we just made the fold, measure in four centimeters from one side and make a mark and then measure in four centimeters from the other side and make a mark. Next, we're gonna make two handles, one for the top and one for the bottom of the rectangle. I'm gonna use a piece of cording that I found at the dollar store and you can find different colors of this cording at the dollar store and if you can use other different types of materials as well. Cut off two pieces of cording that are eight centimeters long each. With your glue gun, place a bead of glue on one of the marks that you made place down a piece of the cording on that mark. Place some more glue down on the second mark and place your cording down on the second mark. There's the handle at the top of the rectangle and also repeat that on the bottom to make a second handle for the bag at the bottom of the rectangle. Next we're going to take a ruler and we're going to place it on all the lines that we made on our pattern and we're going to fold it over. And we're just going to make a crease on all the lines that we made on the pattern. Now your bag should look like this and you can fold on the outside of the lines and you can also fold on the middle of the lines. There's two small squares on both sides of the pattern. With your scissors, cut on both sides of the squares. This is what the bag looks like now. We have the two handles, one on the top and one on the bottom. We folded all of the creases and we've cut the two little squares on each side. Now this bag is ready to assemble. To assemble the bag, take the two little squares and fold them together so they're facing the inside of the bag. And I'm going to use a glue stick. You can use any kind of glue that you like. Put some glue on each of the squares. Take one side of the rectangle and fold it up so that this long side of the rectangle meets up with the square. Now the rectangle should look like this. This is the first side of the bag with the handle, and this is the second side of the bag with your glue. Put some glue on both of these rectangles. And I'll take your bag and fold it together, and there is your completed shopping bag. You can also add tissue paper to the shopping bag. Use a piece of tissue paper that is 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Take the tissue paper and push it down inside the bag. And there is your completed shopping bag in a 1-6 scale. These two bags I made from the colored cardstock. This is the one from the tutorial. 
And this one has a little beach pattern on it. I put some beach towels and a bucket and pail in it. I thought it was really cute for a beach look. You can also use different types of materials to make the handles. For this one, I used this cord that I found at the dollar store. And for the beach bag handle, I used jute twine that I also found at the dollar store. These bags I made from plain cardstock and I put stickers on the front of them. To make the swoosh for the Nike bag, I used some black permanent vinyl and I cut it out with my Cricut machine. On the other side of the bag, I put a sticker of a high-heeled shoe. These stickers are from the Mini Fashion handbags. And it's a good way to use up your stickers that you have from the Mini Fashion handbags. And then you can just stick them on the bag for design. I found these cute little Super Mario stickers and I thought it'd be fun to make a Super Mario shopping bag. I used some red cardstock and then I just put the stickers on the bag. The material I used for the handles of the Mario bag and the Nike bag, I used this cording that I found at the dollar store. It's a necklace cord. At the end of the cords, there's metal. That's the part for the necklace. I just cut that off and then I used this part for the handles. You can also use fabric to cover the cardstock and I used reusable shopping bags to make a Walmart bag and a Dollarama bag. To make the Walmart shopping bag or any other bag that you want to cover with fabric, use the same pattern that we did for the first bag, only the difference for this one is you're going to cover it with fabric. Then you're going to follow all the same steps to make your bag. To make the Walmart shopping bag, I used a reusable bag that I found at Walmart and to put the yellow symbol on the front, I just cut it out and then I glued it on front of the bag. To make the Dollarama bag, I also used a reusable bag from Dollarama. I cut out this dollar symbol and I glued it on the bag and then on the bottom it has the, the website and I cut out the word Dollarama and then I glued it on the front of the bag. I put some cute little things in the Walmart bag and the Dollarama bag. In the Walmart bag I put some food and some snacks and of course some toys because when I go to Walmart I buy food and snacks and I always go to the toy section to check out the Barbies. And for the Dollarama bag I put some craft supplies because Dollarama is my favorite store for buying crafts for all of my DIYs. These shopping bags are so cute and you can use them in so many different ways. You could use them for your doll photography, you could use them for dioramas, you can use colored cardstock, plain cardstock with stickers, and you can also cover them with fabric. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you give this DIY a try. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.